Hi, I'm Chef Chris Wilson, Corporate Chef for United Family of Stores. Today I'm going to show you how to make turkey and sweet potato hash using leftover turkey and sweet potatoes. In this dish, we'll be using leftover diced turkey breast, leftover diced sweet potato, rough chopped onions, chopped garlic, seasoned with a little chili powder, salt and pepper, and adding fresh kale at the end to give it some nice color and texture. We're gonna start off with a really hot pan. I'm using a non-stick pan here to help things from sticking. I'm gonna add some olive oil to my hot pan. Always add the olive oil after your pan's hot. We're gonna add some rough chopped onions. We're gonna cook these for about two to three minutes until they start to caramelize. Now that our onions have a little bit of caramelization on it, we're gonna add our chopped garlic. And let that cook for about 30 seconds or so. Okay, so our onions and garlic have cooked together with olive oil. We're gonna go ahead and add our sweet potatoes to this. These are pre-cooked sweet potatoes left over that I've diced. So we're just gonna to toss that all together. Let that cook for just a little bit and then we're gonna add our turkey. Now that we've got our potatoes in there, and cooked them for a little while. We're now gonna add our diced leftover turkey breast. You can add turkey thigh if you want, but for this dish, I'm trying to make it healthier, so I'm just adding some turkey breast. We're gonna continue to cook this for a few minutes and let all those flavors come together. Now that we've let these flavors cook together a little bit, we're gonna add some chili powder to this to add a nice Texas flair to it. Now that all this is cooked together, we're going to add our fresh kale. And I'm just going to add it to the top, and kind of stir it in a little bit, and let it cook down. Wow, that smells fantastic. Now you can see how well that kale is blending into the dish. Beautiful color. smells fantastic. We're going to finish off by seasoning it with some fresh cracked pepper. Over the top, a little bit of kosher salt. This will bring all the flavors out and together. Give it a nice toss and it's ready to be served. These recipes and others are available on our website.